and all. I am Shreya Padhe from Class 8A. Today I am going to present my working model of drip irrigation. So let's see what is drip irrigation. Irrigation means the artificial supply of water to agricultural field. In addition to this, drip irrigation, as the name suggests, drip means drop by drop. So this is a very unique way of watering the plants. So let's see how it is very unique. So you can see that I have planted the plants in such a way that they lies in a straight line. Similarly, I have arranged the pipe in such a way that water falls drop by drop directly into the roots and get absorbed by it. So a question arises that from where the water come in this pipe. So for that we have a tank and to fill this tank we have to use any water sources. To pump the water we have used water pump. Let's turn on the switch. You can see the water start flowing through this pipe. And from this pipe also you can see the water is coming drop by drop to water the plants. Let's turn off the switch. So this was the whole process of drip irrigation. Now by doing this we can understand this uh, system of irrigation saves water, labor and time. How does this save the water? Because it uh, falls drop by drop and does not get evaporated due to sun rays. So this was my model of drip irrigation. Thank you all of you. Hello everyone, I am Kalpesh Bhadatpa from 11 Science. And my project topic is an automatic fire alarm system. Here, this is my model. Here, I have used two heat sensor. First heat sensor is connected with the buzzer, and it is also connected in the parallel connection with the water tank. So, as the first heat sensor detects the heat energy, the buzzer will get started automatically, and we will get to know about this and the water pump which is connected it will also get started and it will extinguish the fire which breaks out and here the second heat sensor is connected with the mobile phone as if the second heat sensor detects the fire the mobile phone will give an alert call to a connected device so that we will get to know about this so let's do it i will hold this fire flame under the starter slowly You can hear that buzzer has started and the water pump is also started so that it has extinguished the fire. Here the mobile phone which is connected with the second starter is also giving a call to our connected device. Here it, is de it has detected the fire and it is also giving a call to our phone. This type of fire alarm system is used in many multi store buildings, hospitals and industries which is very helpful for them. I hope that you all had liked my project. Thank you. Good morning everyone. Myself Shweta Mahajan from class 9. I am here to explain you about the press bottle rock. The required material for the press bottle rock are pressure meter, bullion thread, brook stopper, 1 liter stopper, electric tape, water, grip, bike and ball, scrap plastic bottle and mark. The proceeds are Drill a small hole through the center of the brook stroke. The hole should be just smaller than the diameter of the pump needle. Wrap a crook in an electrical tape until it fills snugly on water opening. Press the pump needle in the hole in the crook. Make sure that the thicker end of the crook should be pressed on first. If you would like, you can decorate your bottle like a rocket. At the preparation of launching, fill your water with and water. Now we will see how, we, how our experiment works. We will fill the air through the pump. Now we will pull that thread.
गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई कमलेश केरोडीवाल ऑफ क्लास टेन माई प्रोजेक्ट इज टू मेक सोडा एसिड फायर एक्सटिंग बर्निंग ऑफ फायर नीड ऑक्सीजन सप्लाई लाइट टू एयर द इफ एक्सीडेंटली द फायर ब्रेक्स द सोडा एसिड फायर एक्सटिंग हेल्प इन कंट्रोलिंग दैम How it works? It has a bottle of sulfuric acid, con- supported by a metallic container filled with sodium bicarbonate. It has a cylinder inverted with the knob struck it against the ground. E- when this uh, acid bottle breaks, it uh, come in contact with baking soda. As a result, it releases a large amount of carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide displaces the lighter air where the fire has cut off, thus help in putting off the fire. It acts on the all type of fire except due to electrical and inflammable liquid. such fire extinguishers are used in cinema halls and multi story building now i will explain you how uh, the procedure of making this soda acid fire extinguisher you have to just take 20 ml of nahco3 solution in a uh, bottle uh, suspend a ignition tube inside it Uh, just uh, at the bottom of the bottle close the mouth of the bottle uh, when you will tilt so m- means when uh, you will shake this bottle the baking soda get mixed with uh, uh, nahco3 so it will produce a carbon dioxide for result i will show you how to do like that just shake the bottle the carbon dioxide will you see that the fire has extinguished due to discharge of carbon dioxide i am aman gupta of class 12 science i am here to give brief introduction of my project water level indicator the basic idea behind this project is a system which detects water in a reservoir or a tank the material need to complete this project are the battery the buzzer the piston and the switch now let us see how the water level indicator works I am adding water to the bucket due to this the ball attached to the piston due to the buoyancy it rises up the screw attached to the piston touches the another screw and the buzzer start producing sound Now you just see how the water level indicator works this system does not have any amazing science but the work done by this system in industrial and the domestic purposes is very important and water Now I would like to thank Anup sir who helped me to complete this project.